first alert for this evening. If you have plans, get used to the muggies. They're going to be around for a while. Mostly clear, just a few patches of cloudiness over us. Temperatures this evening will fall back to about 84 degrees, with the winds continuing out of the southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Notice how the days are getting shorter. That's another indication that falls right around the corner, because now the sunset at about 720 tonight. Overnight lows as we go farther into time look like the 60s are very close to 70 degrees just about everywhere within our viewing region and high temps tomorrow will start to heat up once again. I'm talking close to 90 degrees in Kansas City, 88 for Trenton, 92 degrees for Belton. So any way you look at it, it's going to be on the warm side and if anything else, very humid as well. So get used to that. Out the door temperature close to 70 degrees, some limited visibility. So keep those low beams on. Winds will be fairly calm and the sun up tomorrow at 6.05, but it may be obstructed a little bit by some fog that's going to be out there. This is future scan and here's the thick fog. Look at this, 8, 9 in the morning. That could slow you down for the morning commute. Don't think it's going to be so thick you can't really see in front of you, but there will be some limited visibility. Then look what happens toward mid-morning or early afternoon. That burns off, sun comes back out, and although we're going into fall, it's still going to feel more like summertime as our temperatures will stay in the 90s for a high or very close to it. Hour by hour forecast has that chance of fog introduced for the morning hours. By noon, I think mostly sunny skies return. We'll start in the 70s, but then it'll be more of a sharp climb in the afternoon with our highs getting very close to 90 degrees and then factoring in the humidity, feeling like 100 in some spots, much like it is today. Not much relief in sight with regard to that. It is going to be a muggy one for a while. We do have a chance of some rain moving in, but that's not until the second half of the seven day forecast. So 69 to 90 degrees on Tuesday, 70 to 89 on Wednesday, hot and hot. Still factoring in that mid to upper 90s for sure. Thursdays when fall starts, but the temperature doesn't fall off yet. 70 to 86 degrees, about the same on Friday, but with the front sagging down, that could focus the chance of showers and thunderstorms. About a 20% chance right now. 68 to 86 degrees on Friday. I'm going for more of like a 40% chance, which could impact college football games. 67 to 82 degrees. And look what happens by Chief Sunday. 77 for a high temperature and morning temperatures feeling like the very comfortable tailgating weather 62 to 86 degrees. So although fall starts on Thursday, it doesn't feel like it until the weekend, as you see there and not without paying the price of getting some more rain. And it would be nice, though, if we could dry out because as we go from September to October, I was just looking at some of the stats. We are about an inch and a half ahead for the month of September.